What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kathy Chit Chat. Make sure to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. It is Celeb Saturday, so we're going to get into it. Got to talk about Wu-Tang Clan and that Tasha K. But I, I don't know if it's me or not, but I promise you with my energy, I meet some of the most strangest people. It never ceased to amaze me. But anyway, first, I went to see The Little Mermaid this weekend, and it's amazing. Like, I want to go see it again. Like, maybe it's my inner childhood. I don't know, but it was amazing. And especially because the movie is receiving so much controversy. Y'all know how I feel about fake book. But one thing I hate, like, with the controversy that she's been receiving, it just in general, with it being a brown mermaid. Don't you know people are leaving, like, mad faces and laughing at it? But if you look... When you put a hashtag on Facebook, it tells you how many people are using it. So when it comes to The Little Mermaid 2023, it's under 5,000 or 1,000 posts. They are limit limiting the visibility of that post for the algorithm. See, that that's that bullshit that I just... Ugh, I can't. Everyone wants to claim equality and interracial dating, but it reminds me that we, no, it's not equal and we're not all kumbai fucking ah because when things like this happen, people are mad because of a brown fictional mermaid that talks to a goddamn crab. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, so we can, you can wear the food, wear the food, child, I need a nap. So you can eat the food, embrace the culture, listen to the music, slob down the men, but God forbid, let there not be a brown fictional mermaid that talks to a crab because then we're going to be mad about it. I'm not here for Karens, but anyway, child, anyway. So I don't know if you heard this, but first of all, let me just say this. When it came to back in the day, I was baggy jean girl with my Tim's you know, the dirty book bag crew, Helter Skelter, uh, like, oh my goodness, like, you, you couldn't, ooh, hip-hop was just so me. and when Wu-Tang came out, that damn Ghostface and Method Man had a lot of women in a chokehold, and I'm not talking about the chokehold that R. Kelly was having them in, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that, oh my gosh, I had to get me a butter pecan, a chocolate deluxe shirt for all my girls so we could go sneak into some party that we wasn't supposed to be in but anyway so I was just in love so I was real uh, let me just say I was taken aback I didn't expect it because we don't really hear too much so Ghostface son recently went on a ramp and made some really strong accusations against Ghostface kind of not being in his life and uh, when I saw the photos of him on his social media page I was like oh gosh please don't tell me that this is you know because he's gay openly gay but I'm glad that his son clarified because in his letter in the post that he stated to him online he stated he would assume that it would be because he was gay but he's like that with with his other children as well so it's not that type of situation so these accusations whenever this comes out it's just like child I hope they fix it but reading the text messages I think what is it what did he say um he had wished him like a happy father's day and you know I wish things were different and allegedly if the texts are true Ghostface response was like oh yeah you know basically me too um hope you're all right wherever you are like what oh god fix it I don't understand I, I, I know what I'll say this we all have some things that have occurred in our families that we don't like. And I know a lot of families with some crazy family secrets, let me tell you. But at some point, we have to kind of fix it and bridge the gap. So whatever happened in Ghostface life or whatever happened with the mother of the children, I don't know that. Only he knows. But if these accusations are true, you have fathered children out here that do not have a relationship with you. And one is really pouring out and it seems like he's hurting and this has hurt him over the years. So I don't know. It's just maybe because I'm a parent or an uh, empath or whatever the case may be. But when it comes to situations like this, like at some point, man, you got to fix it. You know, like this is your flesh. This is someone that you created. I couldn't imagine. I really couldn't imagine. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I couldn't imagine being a mom and having a child out here somewhere where I don't know where they're sleeping or I haven't spoken to them in weeks, months. I don't know. It's just... <clears throat> 
I told y'all if y'all hear me pull or a lighter flick mind your business it's for my cataracts but I, I just can't I don't I don't know this stuff all this stuff bothers me you guys where it's just like uh why does it have to be so messy all the time like can we not be messy or can we be parents to our kids like I'm not asking much right <laughs> like am I tripping like what like I don't know what my child would have to do for me to swear her off or them off like what and I'm literally trying to think of something like what would make me as a mother say I'll never speak to you again and I don't I don't know I couldn't imagine because this is life that I created so and it's really disappointing especially being a fan of the culture and being a fan of woo you never want to hear them paint it in that life I will say I'm happy that his son his son stated that you know RZA and even referred to him as his uncle um you know has stepped up and been in communication with him you know throughout the year so that's amazing hats off to you know at least someone filling in the gap so I don't know what's going on with Ghostface don't know that it's true I'm just saying allegedly <laughs> because I don't want no Tasha K situations which reminds me you guys so allegedly even though it's all out there and documented on the 25th Miss Tasha K hit the panic button and filed for bankruptcy so child and allegedly Cardi B started seizing the assets and allegedly she seized some money from her YouTube earnings when a subpoena was sent to Google and that was about $9,000 that she seized not too long ago allegedly so um, Google that it's all printed out there in newspapers um, really big ones bigger than me because I don't want those problems but yes it has been posted allegedly that word right there can save you so much hassle just saying child so until next time y'all keep chatting